Welcome back to a brand new seminar on why contraception is mandatory in the digital age. I guess what I mean by that is if you decide to have kids, either lock them up in a tower until they're 18, like Rapunzel, at which point you can feed them to the sharks, or just be Amish and drive around in a horse and carriage your entire life living in blissful ignorance. Because the alternative is you have kids and they might end up like uh, Jack Doherty here, who showed up in my feed this week. And I wanna make the disclaimer, the kid's, all, he's 17, he's almost 18 in October. I put this more on the parents than on him, quite frankly. But well, you watch his shit for like 15 seconds and boy, does the future feel bleak for our kids, man. He's got 3.2 million subscribers, which is very formidable. Uh, obviously looked up to by a bunch of young kids that are even younger than him, I'm sure, that are trying to pave the way for themselves, leading by example here. And that example is uh, embodied in the kind of content that basically is just being the most miserable piece of shit to other people as possible because it gets a reaction and it creates entertainment or content uh, and you make a bunch of money. Here's just a little a little taste of what we're uh, working with. I've just been, uh, I've been lifting a lot, you know? Like, like this be how much I be lifting, bro. See these? These are adjustable dumbbells, bro. This is how much I be lifting. This video, bro, is absolutely insane. And uh, guys, stay tuned, 20,000 likes, and you'll see why. Just watch the end, bro, to see what the 20,000 likes will do, but I'm just saying, smash the like button right now, bro, to help trust, it'll help you, and you will be like, woo, to be entertained, bro. Trust, yeah, bro, let's go. Sorry, I, got, I brought the energy today, bro. I brought the, I brought the energy, fam. Let's go, run it up. Drop a like, smash the like. Y'all want some lotion on your thighs? Y'all want some lotion on your thighs? <sighs> oh. Now, like I said, he's a young dude, so I'm not gonna like be directly shitting on this dude. I, like they say, don't hate the player, hate the game. I'm gonna shit on the game. I can't stand that we live in a society now with social media that just churns out these young kids that are turning into complete douchebags because it makes them money and it fucking sucks. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, but the one positive thing is here, if you are yourself looking to make a little money, um, Jack Doherty is, has some financial advice for you. So like, that's just an insane amount of money right there. Like, fudge, like AMC to the moon, baby. Let's go, free money. AMC just be giving me free money. Shout out AMC, shout out GameStop. We go into the moon, baby. Guys, I'm creating a business channel where I'm gonna show you guys how to invest. It's probably not smart to do like risky investments like that. But like, if you wanna risk $100 to make $1,400, there's like opportunities for that. And I wanna show you guys. And there's also like opportunities like to, just for long-term investing to like, be rich. Like, I'm excited to, you know, do a business channel for you guys that's just like the amount of money right there. It's just like such easy money. And I would love to like help you guys. I just like, I love like my friend. I got my friend in on AMC. GameStop to the moon, guys. Guys, bro, I'm going to start a business channel where I teach you how to open a free Robinhood account. You can make free trades with your parents' money and it'll probably all go to zero, but we can all make money, guys. $100, GameStop, AMC to the moon, guys, bro. So my man started young, right? You can see a couple of his classics here. Flips for a kiss at the mall as like a 13, 14 year old four years ago. He was getting right into those pranks the second he opened the gates to being a teenager. And then his most viewed of all time, I flipped all of these. See, this is good content right here, right? This is my kind of shit. Flipped a crayon, bro. Great music choice. Young kid just doing his thing. Like, this is great. Got a toothpaste too, bro? Killing it. Cute as hell. 28 million views. Uh, and then things just really, really just went downhill after that. He's notoriously banned from Walmart because all he does is goes in there and harasses employees to make content, jumps in the ball pits, etc. Here's a classic from Jack called, I went back to the Walmart I'm banned from, cops called. And we get a little peek into his demeanor. Wait, to the Walmart I'm banned from. Badass, bro. You made it, you made it, you made it. Right there. I mean, the editor does, uh, you know, good job building the hype and the suspense, this little hook at the beginning. Yo, he just kicked me. Oh, guys, you're gonna call the police. This is the Walmart where, like, I've done all my Walmart videos at. Like, I've had the cops calling me at this Walmart, like, 30 times, probably. And they know who I am every single time. Like, I don't have to show my face. Like, they know who I am. I came in here with a full hazmat suit last time, and they caught me. <laughs> Imagine saying that is like a source of pride. Yeah, I've been to this Walmart 30 times and had the cops called on me every single time, guys. Epic content, smash like. We got the whole dip plan scheduled and uh, time to go get kicked out, baby, let's go. Yo, time to get kicked out of Walmart, boys. Let's get it, let's go. Let's get our ass kicked the fuck out. Epic pranks, dude. I, I got the reflexes, bro. I've been like, I like PTSD stuff. I've been bugging. PTSD from your, your Walmart arrests. Like bro, bro, managers, bro. Walmart managers. Duck, duck. Hide. There we go, baby. Let's go. Here you go. Starting off with a bang. 
guys, they literally don't have a ball pit here because of me. So funny, bro. You should jump on this thing. Close lava. So he started this like years ago, just hopping into ball pits. I mean, mad young too. It was like pre pre puberty. No, no, no. Yeah, look for that good check out. Well, we're looking to look for some person who tried to who tried to go out with me. Huh? She is. Oh, I see my best friend. Guys, look, I found her. Oh, here's the worst part. I didn't even realize this at first, but so this is his father oh, right my here. Best Guys, look, I found uh, her. So he's literally at the store with his look dad, just says. harassing everybody, and dad yeah. just doesn't give a shit. Now, interestingly. You know, this is years later now. Uh, Jack is going back to his roots at the ball pit, and they apparently don't have balls there anymore because he just caused an absolute scene every time they put it out, I guess. Yo, the homie Jefferson, bro. Yo, boys, this fucking homie. Yo, this is the homie. Last time I was here, bro, this was the man that was there. The man that was there, Jefferson, bro. The homie, bro, what happened to the ball pit? So you know this kid's like mad nervous. Like, oh, this kid's kind of a piece of shit, but he's got a ton of subscribers, and millions of people might see this. So he's just acting all, like, weird and awkward. Sit on it. Give us it. Let me know. Marco, sit on it. Don't be. What? Sit on it. Sit on it. Test it out. Terrorizing the retail workers. No cap. I just told you I don't want to do that, please. Bro, you gotta tell me how to slap him like this. You're on his mother. Bend him over and slap him in the butt. Bend him over, slap him in the butt. Just give him a nice little smooch on the cheek for the boys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rearrange the boxes. Make him look. I'm about to just rearrange the boxes real quick. Can you Go. Show? Come here. Can you show? I'm just sure to rearrange the boxes. Can you step out of here? I'm just sure to rearrange the boxes. Step out of here. My daddy, my daddy owns this place. Daddy's rich. Can you step out of here? Imagine the massive parenting failure that must have happened along the way where your kid has this level, possesses this level of disrespect for just any sort of uh, human decency, you know, rules, regulate, whatever. Like, it's not, he's not doing anything crazy right now, but there's just like this, uh, this mentality now with these young kids with social media. I get it, this is boomer talk, but it's like the only thing that matters is you and your own camera and your fucking clout and your views and just everything else is irrelevant and it's a fucking virus, dude. Hey, wait, do you remember me? You remember me? You're the homie. I got this code. Do you remember me? Shoddy, shoddy, shoddy. <laughs> I can't. This idea that you can just be a defiant dickhead as your personality and just go around and harass people with a camera and that's content. Are they cupcakes or like rice cakes? Oh, that's easy. Why? Take your time. Yo, pull up in front. Yeah, I'll pull up in front. She's like, yo! She's like, yo, tell the cops I said I love him. Yeah, Got the suspenseful phone. music oh, going yeah. in the background. They make a great escape and that's it. They go home, they fucking high five each other. Bro, that was epic. That was so sick. Did you see how pissed off they were? I can't believe they called the cops law. That was fucking money, dude. And then they upload it and they get all these views and all these fucking virgins in the comments like, oh, law, that was so funny. You're so funny, Jack. Social media has turned the world into a hellscape. Now we didn't even care like what was hap like what would have happened like bro it's just Walmart like it's just Walmart my guy it is literally just Walmart Yo. yeah because people that work at Walmart aren't real humans fucking peasants they're not like rich YouTubers like I am fucking low life losers working at Walmart it's just Walmart bro they're subhuman at Walmart bro if I seen my son make some shit like this and put it on the internet not to mention hundreds of times for years and years. If you don't think my man would be getting a fucking word from his father, like what the fuck is dad doing? He's at Walmart with the dude and he's letting him do this shit. Like what, what are you doing? You fucking doormat, rein this prick in bro. Now, of course, in addition to the Walmart videos, like Jack is notoriously hated in his neighborhood by all his neighbors. Uh, it's no secret, obviously why. I'm sure he's an absolute terror to live near. And naturally when Dr. Phil found out about this kid, Jack, he couldn't wait to sink his little teeth into this tasty little snack of content. So he was uh, on a Dr. Phil episode. So let's get a little context here. You get to know his father a little better. Well, 17-year-old Jack says he has been accused of being disrespectful. Imagine that. Rude, an advocate for bad behavior on the internet, but he doesn't care. With over 1 billion views across his social media platforms, he says he'll do almost anything for a like and is known for posting outlandish pranks and most recently, Karen videos on social media. This has to be like one of the worst consequences of 
the social media age, right? I mean, we have like the political divide, the grift between left and right growing bigger, and then just, you know, generations growing up with this mentality of doing anything for a like. It's ruining any sort of like moral fiber backbone we previously had, even if we did, even, I don't know, but it's just, uh, it's bleak, bro. I'm telling you, it's bleak unless there's some serious guidance. If you fucking, you let the leash too far off your kid and they start, they start doing shit like this, like, bro, you gotta start young giving them discipline, man. A lot of people call me rude and obnoxious. He was siding. Leave my house now. Huh? You're tired of that? I'm tired of you. You're the one who started this whole thing, actually. But I think the majority of people think it's funny and really entertaining. That is absolutely false. The majority of people think you're uh, an absolute rat and a handful of 14 year olds probably think you're funny because they also have underdeveloped brains at this point in their life. People wouldn't realize this that aren't involved in it, but you make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, right? Yeah. The more outrageous you can be, the more people like it and follow it, and that turns into advertising dollars. Incentivized douchebaggery. That is a product of how media is consumed these days and how everyone has a phone and a camera. There's so many ways to make money online, on the internet, social media, where you don't have to have a complete lack of empathy uh, and be a dick to everybody, but unfortunately that's a kind of an easy one-dimensional route for a lot of these kids to take, so that's that's the way they take it, and it pays off for some of them. I feel like my parents are a bit annoyed with what I'm doing because I'm constantly causing trouble in the neighborhood, and they're really embarrassed at this point. Stop. You drive, you drive. I'm gonna go straight, and you drive, you drive. I'm going no! Straight. At this point, I pretty much do what I want. <laughs> Mom, relax. Could not be me, bro. The problem is some of these kids, all of a sudden, they blow up for doing some dumb shit and the money starts coming in and that feels good to have your kid making money. So there's this kind of dilemma where do you be a parent and teach your kid that there's things in life, values, morals that are more important than money, or do you just suck off the teat of that money faucet that your kid is providing by letting him run rampant and be a complete dickhead all over your neighborhood? Questions for Plato. I don't know. It's probably not an easy one to answer unless you're in that situation. This video content is getting much more edgy. Tell me. Hey, Tom Jack's videos and some of his pranks have definitely gone too far. I imagine there was just years of negligence in them letting their kid walk all over them that led up to this kind of career on YouTube as sort of the culmination uh, of how he developed. It's the type of thing, if you don't nip it in the bud early, uh, here you are. Now you're getting walked on by your son who makes more money than you and basically tells you what to do. How fucking emasculating must that be for this dude? I just like- Well, at the end of the day, you have to remember that this is what you two raised and this is what you guys got. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. That's something they gotta chew on and digest and live with. You kind of endorse what he's doing or at least go along with it, right? I understand yeah, he's his- taking me to Walmart all the time. No, I, I understand his direct- Yeah, here we go, dad with the smirk on his face, like on fucking Dr. Phil, like, oh, my son's out of control. How did this happen, motherfucker? You enabled it. You brought a, You brought his ass to Walmart to film the videos. Dipshit. But sometime now that he's getting older, his content is getting so much more edgy. Mm -hmm. uh, and I imagine that's because he's getting older and his audience is getting older. And he just keeps pushing the envelope and it's getting scary and scarier, correct? Yeah, but you say, I, I can't take his phone or his cameras away because that's Correct. how he makes his money. Yeah, you can. <laughs> You're his fucking dad. You're allowed to do that if you want to. Man, money really is just a carrot that makes people absolute fucking bell ends sometimes. I, it really does. If I take away his camera, but if I take is, away I'm his I'm not computer, like this off camera. Like, I'm, I'm respectful. No, you can I be bet you are. tough off Maybe camera with you guys yeah. because you guys don't like listening to me a lot when I talk to you, but yeah. off camera, I, I'm not out here like you know doing crazy stuff to people and but you're also on camera the majority of the time so that remains irrelevant like you just said you always have a camera on so that point doesn't matter at all what you do on camera matters probably more so than what you do off camera it scares me uh -huh. it's really do yeah yeah so you're afraid he's gonna get hurt or he's gonna get somebody's gonna really lash back out at him Yes. Kids like this typically eventually have to learn a tough lesson when they get just they take it that one step too far or come across the wrong dude, the wrong person, and have to learn the hard way, whatever that may be. The only thing you hope for is that somebody else, a bystander or somebody, doesn't have to, you know, feel the consequences of his shitty behavior and decisions. This woman says that the noise wakes up her kids. I literally just go right there to jump. It's not a big deal. I don't know well, why it's you're. It's a big deal because it's private property. 
All right, and all right. Think about it. At least no, no, no. Think about it. At least I'm like not doing drugs. Yes. I can't get through to Jack that people's privacy is more important than shooting a video. I can't fucking imagine how embarrassing that would be if you just your kid is just runs rampant around the whole neighborhood talking shit to all your neighbors and you can't do anything. This kid's mom better make the best motherfucking brownies in the world because she's got some she's got some comeuppance to do with her neighbors. You're acting crazy. I call her Karen because she constantly overreacts about everything. I will be coming to your house later. All right, I'm sure my parents will enjoy that. And my fans loved it and I loved it. I turned to my fans and I said, hey, if we hit 50,000 likes in this video, I will ride my dirt bike by the Karen's house. Fucking puke. 50,000 likes, guys. I will drive down to the local nursery and headbutt every last baby in the goddamn face. Fucking content. I watched the video and you said 50,000 likes and that I'll go down there and do it again. She came to my house four or five times. Well, there's actually a definition of a Karen, and it, it, it's in the dictionary. <laughs> I'm says, not. I can't sit here and watch Doctor Phil read the dictionary definition of Karen right now. <laughs> Clearly, that's something Jack's playing off of. Uh, any obviously, you know, white woman that gets mad at anything is now a Karen, unfortunately, which is too bad. Like, who knows? Maybe this woman overreacted, or I would imagine just knowing Jack, she, probably she has every right to be pissed if you live near this kid but now he's made it a game and incentivized his behavior through like begging uh to try to continue this feud with his neighbor i'm sure the kids love it but man is this just a nightmare for normal people i can call my dad he can come right now you're a disrespectful little boy you I know can that call you're a disrespectful i'm not little disrespectful boy. like like how am i supposed to have fun what do you recommend i do not drive your dirt bike what? in a residential area mm -hmm. i can call them right now oh my oh, god i can't believe you're a real person all right I'll call see now i don't there's a disparity i don't like you're allowed to drive your dirt bike in a residential area, if you were on her property and she doesn't want you to be, that's different. They didn't really clarify that. Uh, but, you know, just a dirt bike being loud, eh, I, don't know, I don't know if there's a whole lot you can do. Maybe there is. I'm not sure. Maybe there's an HOA that has a, a sound ordinance. <laughs> With him riding at feet. I mean, if Karen had some sense about her, quite frankly, I'd just go out there, pretend like you're kind of scooting up to get mad at him, wait till he's ripping down the street in the dirt bike, boom, throw out a spike strip, pop that front tire, watch him endo, flip over the handlebars, break his collarbone on the pavement, get a bunch of fucking road rash. I mean, sometimes kids like this need the tough lesson, right? You can yap all you want. They gotta feel the pain though. There's two sides to every story, and I think you guys are kind of focusing just on her side, but have you ever really you literally recorded the entire thing of you just being a dickhead? <laughs> like that's your that's your that's your entire personality is just harassing people uh to for YouTube views. Not a whole lot of depth to that kind of story, Jack. Have you ever apologized to Rachel? I'll, I'm 100% willing to apologize to her right now. Here comes Mr. Dad, the doormat, trying to mediate the thing and get him to apologize to her over the phone. What a fucking clown world, man. Rachel, I am sorry for uh, Here we go. Uh, riding my dirt bike by your house. This should be sincere. I also I'm sorry, but posted her face on the internet also. Nothing says I'm sorry like following it with a butt statement. Very classic. I'm looking for the apology in there. Oh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying like my side of the story as well because I'm just saying like you said she could have called the cops on me also, but I could have put her face out on the internet, but I chose not to do that because I don't want it to have effect. The absolute hero found it in the kindness of his heart not to put her face on blast to millions of people. I mean, just what, what a saint. What an absolute saint. I don't I think sorry. that Look at the, knows the doctor feels like this motherfucker playing the victim right now. Look at this face. So, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, Rachel, you're welcome, by the way. I, okay, but how would I the word it? I'm trying the, uh, my best here. I don't know how to word it. You, you should be I don't know how to, I don't know how to word an apology. I just, you, you, you know what? You don't know. There's, there's, I, there's no hope. There's no hope for this kid. I'm sorry. You should be. I'm sorry that I inflicted these emotions on you. All right, Rachel. Let's let's reel it in a little bit, Rachel. Let's not get let's not get too crazy with the emotion thing. Like you don't want you want him like bake you a cake or a cupcake or some shit. Like just try to get him to say I'm sorry without a butt following it and just call it a day. I'm sorry for uh, <clears throat> disrespecting you, Rachel. Can we? Could I bring Jack to your house one day to apologize? Yeah, I'm down. I'll bring you a gift basket yeah. and some toys for your kids. How about that? He go, I'm rich bitch. I'm a YouTuber. I'll just buy your kids toys. Then what are you going to say? Fucking peasant.
<laughs> yeah. I'm not sorry at all. I'll just throw money at you until you shut the fuck up. It's not about... It's I'm not, not saying it's about you guys are just constantly to trying to, I'm trying to be it's nice. It's about being genuine. Oh my I God, that. I'm being attacked for everything, I feel like. I know. And then it was just hard you, to put you into play words the victim and say, I'm getting picked on here, I'm getting picked on here, but you don't mind but picking on other people. But I was trying my best and everybody was just picking on me for like everything I do, you know? Well, like, all right, I'm used to it, whatever. See that? Jack's trying his best, but he just constantly gets picked on. Uh, by people for being an insufferable prick to everyone. Just, but he's, but leave Jack alone, all right? Let Jack just go fuck up everybody's day. Stop picking on him for being a dickhead, all right? He's, he's doing what he, he's doing his best here, guys. You, you can do a lot of different things that don't have the downside, but have the upside if you just challenge yourself to do things at, like at, a, at a different level. Smartest thing Dr. Phil's ever said, I think. Not everything has to be done at the expense somebody else. Dr. Phil dropping some dad wisdom on him that dad has failed to deliver because he's obsessed with the money his son's raking in. Gets to drive that nice S class, you know? Don't want to fuck that up, do we, dad? Can't take our son's phone away or give him any modicum of discipline because you wouldn't be able to afford that juicy car payment that you got going right now, <laughs> sucking off your son's YouTube revenue tea, sicko. I think they're so creative. No one's ever done those types of stuff. Okay, we're done here. I'm sorry. Um, trying to give him some advice, and he wants to talk rather Jack, than listen. Jack, don't interrupt He's him very again. Hard to Jack, I'm sorry. Jack, Jack. He's could you give him another talk. chance? Jack, don't interrupt Dr. Phil, Jack. Could you please give him another chance to try to be your father since I've done such a miserable job at raising you into somewhat of a decent human being? Jack, Jack, don't interrupt the doctor, Jack. Not on his own show. Could you give him another chance, Jack? Jack, please don't interrupt I'm anymore. I'm just trying to be nice. Let Dr. Phil speak and not be no, nice. I've You're tried several times to get... Jack, stop going into Walmart and ruining everybody's life, Jack. You're not being very nice, Jack. What I have to tell you? Hold on a second. How much did you make off that video? Okay, Jack. You know what, Jack? Go have some fun, Jack. Just let me know how much money I can have at the end of the month, Jack. But just don't interrupt Dr. Phil, Jack. Let, give, give Dr. Phil another chance, Jack. Having consulted with several uh, internet influencers that are 10 times the size that oh, he burned. is on the internet, and universally they gave me the same burned. advice to pass on to him, but he wants to interrupt and argue uh so you know you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him float on his back is that what they say is that the, is that the saying <laughs> during the know, break I, just, I don't know what went wrong there i was just trying to have a conversation well, i think he's going to give you some valuable advice from other youtubers yeah but i don't yeah. think so either I don't know. Yeah, so no, he doesn't want to hear from anybody no i do he's a no you shake your hand if i could i'm not a no i know sorry <laughs> they have a great Taylor, staff Taylor, Amy, what's the other one the other one Julie, 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 Amy, so nice. Taylor. Jack, Jack, no. No, you're not being nice, Jack. Give Dr. Phil another chance. Listen, Doctor, you got a great staff. You go, you want a great show here, Dr. Phil. Thank you so much for giving me a little bit of wisdom here and dealing with my son, not Jack, here. Jack, please, let Dr. Phil finish. You got to listen to what he's trying to say. He's got advice from other influencers your size about how to behave, Jack. Let Dr. Phil teach you how to be a man, Jack. Jack, please, Jack, be nice to you. <laughs> Jack, Jack, please, Jack. Jack, please listen to the man. Please. <laughs> All right, thanks, yeah, Mark. The, we appreciate it. The prep it. that goes in is amazing. Congratulations. I, yeah. I had no idea yeah, no, we... what it took to make a show. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, brother. Listen, I don't know. Parenting's the hardest job in the world, especially as your kids get to that age and now they're dealing with all the devices and social media and shit. Like, I, you know, I'm not, I don't want to sit here and talk like I know what I would do differently or whatever. But I like to think. There's got to be something we could do along the way so our kids don't end up this calloused to what it means to be uh, a decent human being. And everybody's different, and I'm sure Jack has a lot of incredible qualities. Obviously, he's a hard worker, and he's fucking making money, but there's more to life than doing whatever it takes to make money. Maybe not for some people, uh, but there can be a balance between being decent and having the grind and finding that sweet spot. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case here for Jack Doherty. Parents are the problem. Do something before someone else does. Yes, agree. He's gonna tone it down real quick once he fucks with the wrong person. That's what I'm saying, man. Like he's got he's gonna learn eventually. Once he gets outside the bubble, like his little Walmart thing and his Karen neighbors, and you take it to that next level because this is what happens with these kids. It's like you always gotta keep stepping up your game to keep those views and that revenue coming in. And eventually you take it one step too far, like the forest with Logan Paul or like uh, countless other things that have happened with uh, influencers online. 
and uh, hopefully, you know, or he would recently with David Dobrik with the whole uh, the front end loader incident with his boy there, Jeff Wittick, and getting his entire face smashed in. Like, you are always trying to set the bar higher, and eventually something goes awry, and either he's going to learn, and hopefully, the worst case scenario is if someone else has to feel the consequences of his ignorance. Uh, and tomfoolery. So if you couldn't tell, I'm getting a little older now, so shit like just, just kind of pissed me off. Just like when those damn kids are running on my lawn. Get out of here, you little rascals. But if you're like a young dude and you love Jack Doherty and you're like, oh, you're just like, oh, you don't get it. Just respectfully, just leave an okay boomer in the comments and let me go on my way and be a bitter old man, please. Thank you so much. But for most of you guys that are returning, you know I mean well. I don't mean any ill intent towards this kid, Jack. I just hate to see this culture. We've cultivated the last decade and a half uh, where behavior like this is rewarded uh, with money, attention, clout. Um, it's just a cycle. It's a never ending cycle, it feels like. I mean, I've been talking about it for years with the boot gangs and all different areas of the internet, all different social media apps. And here we are. I don't know how it's going to progress over the next 10, but I hope we can have a bit of human decency like injected back into the formula that is becoming a new age influencer. Uh, but sometimes it seems to just be spiraling out of control. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. The one thing I know is 100% uh, true, though, is my appreciation for you guys being here during this video. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you in the next one. If you could do me one favor before you go, just go to Walmart, take your pants off, jump headfirst into the ball pit, wriggle that baby around, and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I'd appreciate that greatly. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace.